Hello, everybody. Well, I am back. I'm at, at the office, actually. Um, and I am back with my part two of my stop leak experiment. What I've done is, that's the other brand that I was talking about, Clip Light. Super Seal HVACR, and then um, when you put it in, you're supposed to use a, I guess they're drying agent to keep moisture out of the system. So, it comes in a package like this. You see, I got it from John Stone. Um, it comes, what comes in the pack is those two cans, some instructions, and a sticker. It's saying, hey, I got a stop leak in here. Follow the correct procedures to, uh, if you open the system up and it comes with a hose. So what I've done is I've taken my jar and I put some water in there and I'm not going to pull a vacuum on the jar. I'm not going to put Freon in the jar. This stuff here actually when it hits moisture it actually hardens. So hence the water in the jar. And so that's why I'm going to add the uh, um, dryer in the system first and then once I add that then I will go ahead and put the stop light, the clip light stuff in there a super seal now there is another brand this new Calgon makes it I don't know what it's called but it's it's about the same stuff because I called ace seal and talked to a guy uh, they're right here. A a Seal is actually in Atlanta. I talked to a guy down in Florida. I guess their salesman or whoever he is. And he's told me, because I told him, I said, man, I, I just don't see how that stuff works. It doesn't harden. It doesn't do anything. It's just an oily film. And he said something about the molecules inside. It was was bigger than something. And, um, you know, so he just kept going on and on. And I asked him, well, what would happen? if your stuff was mixed with another brand and he said well I don't know never tried to because why would you want to because our stuff stops the leaks I said well there could be an occasion to where somebody put your stuff in the system one year and then another guy came out the next year saw it being low and decided they would add another brand so he said I don't know what'll happen so we're gonna find out today what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the dryer in first, then I'm going to put this stuff in, and then after I put those two in, then we'll see what happens after a few minutes, and then we will put this stuff in. He did say, though, he has put this in water and it's hardened up. The same thing with new Calgon. It didn't take as long, to, or it took a little longer to harden than this. And then this stuff just kind of floats on top of the water because it's oil. So anyway, I'm going to get the hose attached to the dryer and get it attached to the top of the, uh, to the jar and then we'll get started. All right, I got the uh, paper off of the hose, uh, but in case you didn't know how this works, the top screws onto the top of the can. Then you turn the uh, um, then you turn the thumb screw down. It's got a little thing that inside it that punctures the top of the can, and then you uh, um, open it back up, and that'll let the dry and stuff go go in the uh, jar. Let me uh, get that on, and we'll get started. All right, I've got the uh, the hose attached, got the can attached. And I've got it pierced, so now I just got to try to see if I can open this one-handed and let's see what happens. I'm trying to open it here. Oh, 
I'm God darn in it, so. got the thing all the way open so let me uh let me turn this off for a second and close it back again and see what happens all right we'll try it again I'm, I'm turning the top let's see see I'm turning it I cracked a lid to see if it was, but there was a little bit of pressure coming out, so. Got it turned upside down. It's got some sort of liquid in there, so. I don't know. Let me mess with this for a minute and see if we can figure out why it's not. I'll be back. All right, well, apparently there wasn't no pressure on that thing because here's the, uh, I don't know what the story was with it. So anyway, so I'm pouring it in there. Pouring it in there. What a trip. Doesn't smell good for sure. Might get my torch out after a while and see if that, see what happens when you set that stuff on fire. It doesn't say it's flammable, but we'll see what happens. All right, so, <coughs> ooh, look at that. That water was clear a while ago, and now it's... Mm -mm -mm. See what it's... It really, really stinks. But there was definitely no pressure in it. that set for about 30 minutes and see what happens and then we'll put the we'll put this stuff in it and uh go from there all right so i've been kind of shaking this stuff up and agitating it um but you're not gonna believe what is happening um i don't know if you can see that black mark right there yeah you can actually that is actually little black dots in there um, see that stuff floating around in the water well you're never gonna guess what that is maybe you will when I sealed this can up remember I used to put epoxy on the top of it well um, you can see on the straighter core there or on that little tube that there's some epoxy and that stuff is actually eating the epoxy and you know how hard it is look let me get my screwdriver 
you know, I, I'm scraping it. I'm scraping that off. And of course, you know, you can scrape it. So if I can scrape it, there's no way that that, that stuff will eat epoxy off of a copper tube. So, well, there's some right there. You can see. A little part right there, a little speck. That's epoxy uh, off of that copper tube. So, we know there's not going to be any epoxy inside of the uh, system, but what about, you know, like a neoprene gasket or something like that? So, wow. Alright, so now we've got that. Let me. It's only been about 20 minutes or 15 minutes actually, so I'm gonna actually move on to the Super Seal and see what happens with that stuff. So, yeah, it's a drying agent, but it looks like it's a. It smells like a solvent actually. Um, so pretty bad and your system is not going to have that much water in it so by all rights I'm not actually doing it the right way but you know but it shouldn't have been eating that epoxy so there's my little hole that, that I drilled the other day If I keep shaking it, shaking it, that a copper uh, tube will be clean. But it's sure enough eating the epoxy off of there. Well, I'm gonna let it let it set for a minute, and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got the lid open here. What I'm gonna do is take it off. You see, see the epoxy there. It's just, I can just, my finger just, and I'm not, I'm not scraping hard, I'm just, so it's actually, it's cleaning the epoxy off of that, off that little tube. Wow. Pretty wild. There's a bunch of it in, in there, a bunch of little flakes. Shoo. Anyway, that's that. Look, well, that's what came off my finger. Uh, so now, wow, that's the epoxy that came through the hole there. Look at that, it just broke it right off. That stuff is like soft again. So, anyway. So that's that part. Pretty soon that, that'll eat right through there. So now I'm going to put the top on the super seal. This time I'm not going to leave. I'm just going to squirt it down inside there. See what happens. All right. So I lied. So I put the lid back on. Got the uh, super seal attached. And I'm going to crack it open and see what happens. Me. All right, so this stuff, uh, I guess there's no pressure on it because I could not get it to come out of the can. So, you see what I'm doing? I'm, I'm just, uh, dripping it in the can. Wow. Now 
and we'll see what happens. Put some more of it in here. That's wild, it wouldn't come out. Now I, I use this once or twice and it does come out, but when it's attached to pressure, so who knows. <coughs> but it stinks. Oh, let me put the lid back on it, that's enough.